all right so welcome back again so in this particular session of the tutorial i'll be trying to see how to deploy the app that we build on streamlit sharing so as you already know the requirement for deployment on streamlit sharing is that first of all you need to build your app then you get your requirement or tst file very very important right because you're not using the docker file this is our most important file requirement of tst file then you need to put your app on github right it's supposed to be public then you need an invite from share.streamlit.io to be able to have access to it so that is a basic stuff so now let's see how to do that so i'll go back to my terminal and let's check it out so this is our app and the structure we don't have we have the app itself and everything everything is working as expected so we need a requirement of tst file so i'm just going to go it get out of this place and use pip rest to help us with that so in case you don't have it can you so install it with pip install pip rex right so this is the package to get the requirement of tst file without creating a virtual environment then i'm just going to do it pip rex outside my folder i'll point you to the folder that i want to get the requirement of tst file for it's going to automatically generate the requirement of tst file for that particular folder in every python script there so that is going to be the first step here right then we need to put that up on github which i've already done so we'll do it again take some time for it to run perfect so that's finished so if i go back into my app and i check it out so the requirement of tst file has been created if i cut it out right so that is it so if i cut it out we have everything perfect right so let's see how to push it so we have we are done we have gotten our requirement of tst file then we will push it to github to push it to github so let's do that I go back to my application check the status of it all right so let's add this thing there i've deleted some stuff there but you move on i'm going to go with git add my stuff that i need so i'm going to be adding my app dot app i'm going to add my requirement of tst file i'll be adding my utils package so if i go get status again so everything has there are some things i've deleted already everything is working as expected now let's push it so get and then also we need to be able to work on the readme also right so we're trying to modify that one later on so inside the readme before we move on let's move on so inside the readme i have my readme here so inside my readme i have my information the thing that we need these are simple basic stuff that i put there then to be able to get the badge this is the simple badge right so this is the location of the app streamlet bible then main then app right so the app is this particular app here right and then the main is going to be the master branch right very simple so this is going to help us to get the logo that you can click on it very simple so i'll save this one and i'll go back to this place and add my readme so now if i go back to the status everything is working well so i can now commit it because as we say deployment let's say deploy up then get push I'm pushing it on GitHub, right? And the next step, so you could ask for my details. I'm going to push it to GitHub. Perfect. So now I've pushed it to GitHub. So if I come back again and I refresh it, and now you can see that I, I did it some time ago. Now it has been pushed there perfectly well. So we have our comment TST for our app and our utils. Now, how do we deploy it on Streamlit? So we are done with this first step and we are put it on GitHub. The next one is to get an invite from shared.streamlit.io. Which you already have so i just go back to my i'll sign up into it so share the streamlit.io and i can just add my new app then i'll specify the repository that i want so i'm choosing the stream bible repository click on it and i'm using the main or master branch i'm going to change this one to the main part apologies for this right so i'm picking the app itself then i'll just click on deploy so that is all right so this is going to run it then it's going to use the requirement of tst file and the basic stuff to spin up a container a running environment then our app is going to be working perfectly well that is running everything all the various things on our requirement or tst file is being installed right as you can see it it's taking some time so after that's finished you're going to see the balloon coming so i'm intentionally going to allow it to show some mistakes within it so that you see how to fix those mistakes right so the app is working perfectly well hooray the app has been deployed Wow, so we are done with it. 
app is now working so this particular url here is the one that we will be using right and you can see that it's giving us an error that is going to be our first mistake our first error so can't find model en it doesn't seem to be a shortcut or python package so that is the first error right the first error the first challenge for deployment so how do we face it so we need to make sure that this particular spacing model is within our running container so how do we do that so i'll just go back to the app itself go back to my app check the utils package so inside the utils we had en so you have to give the full name for this one which is going to be this particular name so en.core.websm so this is the full name for it right then this is going to help us fix this particular error for the first one so because it doesn't know what it is that's the first location but that is not all we need to be able to make sure that this particular model is within our running environment so how do we do that so i'll go back to my requirement.txt file and i'm going to add that particular option to download that model from from spacey and then add it to my requirement.txt file then to my container so let's see how to do that so if you go to this if you go to spacey's official website if you go to spacey this is still working everything is working as expected if i check it here when i modified it using the long format it is still working right but if in case you want to get the model to be part of your repository so everything is working using the long format it's still working if i click on this it's working right everything is working so if i go back to the spacey option with the spacey requirement it's going to show me that option so spacey spacey requirement Where is it spacey yeah this particular place so i go to this place it's going to show me how to add that particular model to my requirements dot tst file so that's what i'll be trying to do so this is how to add it to requirement tst file so i'll just copy this entire stuff here right so this is going to load this particular model so let's do it this way copy the entire stuff then go back to my requirement.txt file here and I'll paste it here. So let's take off this PC here. Right. So this is going to be added to it. Perfect. So now I'm adding spacey to it. And I'm going to specify that add the model. This is the model that we have added here. Right. Perfect. That is the first solution. So if I save it and I save this one and I save the requirement.txt file, everything is working as expected. So let's go back and check it again. So I'll push it. So get status let's push let's add our requirements which are modified and then the details which have modified let's push it on github so get commit so let's go just say modified requirement then let's push it so get push All right so this is a next step to fix this particular error that we are having this error here so I'll just push it so i'll push it to github now it's going to identify the changes it says identify the changes it's now installing it then it's going to face this particular error so that is the first way you can face an error in case you are trying to deploy spacey models on streamlet right and you're having that particular issue so you have to make sure that you add it you add a full part you add this particular stuff to your requirement tst file right then inside your app itself any place you see the en you make it the full name right this is going to save it you make it better now it's running it connecting so in case you have any question or contribution can just preside the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next session <laughs> as i see in the session that is by default <laughs> okay so now the app is working well let's go to the session that has the entities named entities and you see that it's going to work but it's going to give us another error somewhere so while i see that now if i click on this the entities are working right perfect so our uh, one section of the app is working but you see another there's another issue here we don't need this one so we have to clean of this one there's another issue here missing corpus load right so this is also another issue because spacey has its own model test blob also has its own model that we need to help use to help our app right so we need to be able to get this particular model so how do we do that so according to the instruction we need to run simply run this comp code 
to download this or use NLT downloader. So I'll copy this and then I'll show you how to face that issue. So I'll come back again to this place. I'm going to create another file, right? Or I'm not, I cannot even create, I will not even create another file. I'll just come back to this particular place here, right? Or let's create another file and do that. Create another file. I'm going to save this particular file and call it as, let's say, NLTK Utils or anyhow it's going to be. So let's call it as NLTK Utils dot pi right so nltk utils then i'm just going to run this particular code so how do i run it so i'm going to be using python to help us run it. it's going to be import sub process then from here i'm going to say that okay this is going to be the command i want to break down so i'll paste in this command convert this one into i'm going to convert this one into a set of instructions so python 3 we are using python 3 then this everyone is going to be a command that I want to run for my container. This is a, a hack, a workaround. Right, perfect. Then I want to use sub process to run this particular code within my container, this particular container here, right? To have access to it to run it here. This is not the best way, but this is going to face our issue. So how do we do that? So I just come back again. I'm going to say that my sub process dot run my CMD. Right, then I can just say, let's say, print working. Right, so I, I know that it's actually working. So I don't need this one. I take off this. I don't need it again. I can actually copy this code, right, which is inside the utils, inside my utils straight away. Right, but let's import it from here. So from, so it's going to be import NLTK utils. This is just so that in the, in the, in the future I'm able to have access to it. So we can just do it straight away. I can actually copy this one straight away. Here. Right. Or I can just go straight away with the, this option. Right. Anyhow you want it to be. So that is the same thing. So I'll come back again. And now push it back. If I go get status. We have this new utils modified. And we have this NLTK utils. Right. Which we want to download. So we can call it a test blob utils, NLTK download, anyhow you want it to be. Then I'm going to push it. So git add this utils modified and then the NLTK utils modified. Then git commit dash m. Let's say this, let's say test blob issue. Right. Then I'll git push. I'm going to push it to get up. So looking at this issue now, you see that we have this issue which was not working. Now because I'm loading this particular command here, so as it's loading it perfectly, and voila, we have faced the issue, right? That is how to face this particular issue. So what it's doing is that behind the scene, anytime I load it up, it's going to import this particular sub process and run this code here inside our container. Inside our container, you can see that if I go back and I check this one here. Hopefully, I'm able to expand it here. So, it's downloading everything, right? It's going to download everything because it's running that particular command. Then, you can see after it has going to download all the various things. Now, if I click on this, our app is working. Voila, our virtual entities are also being recognized. And then, if I go down to the plot, it's also working. Wow, everything is working as expected. So that is how to deploy a Streamlit app that is using Spacey and Test Blob and NLTK on Streamlit sharing. Right? Very cool, very nice. So the basic idea behind all that we have done is that we need to make sure that we have a requirement of TST file, very important. Then if you are using Spacey, you just specify that I want to download the model for Spacey here inside your requirement of TST file. Then inside your app itself, any place you are using EN, you make sure that you put the full, full name of the model then for the NLTK aspect, in case you're working with test blob, you just have to download the corpora, right? Using this particular command here. This is a hack or workaround, right? Very nice and very cheap. You can actually make it that if it runs once, the next time not going to run again. Very cool. So that is all. So we have seen how to build, put on GitHub, and then deploy it. Now, if I go back and I check it, everything is working as expected. Our app is working as expected. Very nice.
okay so we need to take off this so we'll be doing that later and then now let's check back to the scope of what we have done so we have seen how to host it on github we are done so yeah now we are done with the app so thank you for watching this tutorial so you have seen how to build a project from scratch we saw how to build this thing from from here we built a simple app having three different sessions the single verse multiverse and steady mode we use pc panda streamlet need test test blob to build everything we placed on github we deployed using streamlet sharing so this has been a very long tutorial so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section below and the code is already available here so that you can have access to it and you can also see that our logo open and streamlet is working so if i click on it it's also going to load the app oh right so it is working perfectly and the app is working so, so thank you for watching see you another time and check the links below for more in case you have any suggestion you can let me know see you another time apologies for the noise and then the audio